In this video, we want to discuss about the types of cryptography. In my last video, I've given introduction to cryptography that we want to keep our messages or our uh, information secret. So for example, we want to do a bank transaction and we want to keep the secret. So for example, we consider that there are two persons, Elias and Bob, and they want to share some information. And this information is shared over the insecure channels such as through the digital world and we are sharing this through the email or through the internet connection or maybe even through the post or any other channel and this is always insecure. So there is a third intuitive person who always want to get this information and we give this name as Oscar. So Oscar is that one which we call as script analysis or we can simply call this as a hacker who hacked this information. Now Elias want to share some information with Bob. So in, in that sharing of the information, we have discussed that there are two types of the major cryptography that we can discuss. One is symmetric and the another is asymmetric. And in the symmetric, we have in a simpler way, we can say that it is the one where we have one key. And now suppose Elias want to share some information and that is what we call it as plain text. So this is the Bob what we receive is since he, he want to hide this information. He do not want to send the plain text directly, knowing that Oscar will know everything if he share this information directly. So what he want to, he want to hide this information and he will create this into a cipher text. Cipher text means the one which is encrypted. So now for doing this, so what Elias will do, he will convert the plain text through some key to cipher text and the same key is shared with the Bob. So assuming that at this moment they have shared the key in person meeting or through some other channel and they are assuming that the Oscar doesn't know about this key. So Oscar now have received the cipher text. So he received cipher text and with the help of this key, with the help of this key, he can get the plain text. Now, but the problem here is that how do we hide the key also? So this is another uh, discussion point of uh, one that how do they share the key so that Oscar doesn't know the key. So but at this moment, we assume that there is a key and if they use both uh, Elias and Bob, they use the same key. So we can consider this as one key. So that is why symmetric cryptography is sometimes also known as private key or secret key. So we can say that whenever we use one key and that is used for the encryption process also. So encryption process means when we have converted plain text into cipher. So we have encrypted the data or the message. And when cipher text is back converted into plain text, this is process we call decryption. So these basic definition I have used in my last video. Now in asymmetrics, now this the name obviously suggests this has to be different from the symmetric. So here we use more than one key. So I can say we simply say more than one key or I can say two key known as also public key crypto system or cryptography. So when we say public cryptography, so in that process, that means now Elias and Bob. So there is a one key here, which is known to everyone. So we can say this as public key and another key is available with the people, which is they call it as private key. Just like, for example, we access our email, we have a password or if we access our bank accounts online. So we have a general key, which is related to the bank and our own private uh, uh, key that is the password that we use for accessing our own account. There is a third category also that is what we call hash function. Here is the element of cryptography operation and we have the sender at the first stage which have the access to plain text and he want to share this information of the plain text to the receiver. So he will follow the process of encryption. So now as I've discussed, it can either follow asymmetric uh, uh, algorithms or they may follow the asymmetric algorithms. So we receive to cipher text and then we follow the transformation and back into the process from the cipher text. They go to de decryption process. They get back to the plain text and we have receiver. So if we look at the basic, some of the very standard uh, algorithm corresponding to the symmetric is the DES and AES. And for the asymmetric algorithms, we can look at the public key cryptography such as RSA algorithms, DSA. So before we going to these algorithms of symmetric and asymmetric, let's look at the uh, some of the technique that transform plain text into the cipher text. And we talk about substitution technique. So here we talk about the substitution techniques and transpositions techniques. So in my next video, we'll be first talking about these. So that help us to understand how a plain text is transferred into a cipher text.